Okay, welcome back. This is part two on the Odin Kazuki theory I'm working on. This one's more of a speculation rather than introduction. And this is how Odin Kazuki, or Odin, is gotta teach Luffy in the Alliance how to wound Kaido. <coughs> and a little breakdown here. It's been stated Kaido cannot be wounded in any way, shape, or form. But I think there is a way to wound him, it's just not extremely easy. Because so far we've been seeing other characters using their own power to try and overpower Kaido. But where in fact, I think the weakness to Kaido's armor, or dragon armor in this case, is not to try to overpower him with your own power, but overpower him with his own power. And this thought process comes from the Ronin Kenshin manga, or manga, or however you pronounce it. Um, we see Kenshin's ultimate attack, I can't pronounce it here, but one of the translations I've seen was it being called a dragon attack. A heaven's dragon attack to be specific. And the only time we've seen it beat was when his brother-in-law countered him with a tiger attack. And this is why I want Odin Kazuki's devil fruit to be a tiger. It's the opposites of yin and yang on some symbols I've seen. And this is the basis for the counter. Uh, forget the author's name, whoever made Roni Kenshin. But I do know Oda helped work on Kenshin. But getting back on track. Um, basically, how Kenshin's ultimate attack was defeated was um, he, it was counterattacked before it was able to counterattack. If you don't know how Odin, uh, yeah, Kenshin's ultimate attack works. Basically, it's a quick draw attack for the first wave. If you block it or dodge it, it creates a vacuum for about free, for a very brief second. And Kenshin then uses the momentum gained from the first attack and the vortex created to create a second stronger attack. Whereas the anime, as I've seen in the anime, the first attack is the dragon's teeth. The second attack is the wind made from a four in the teeth, but you get drawn into the claws. But should the dragon get careless, and this is going back to the manga, is if the dragon gets careless by swooping down too low, near the tiger, the tiger will use that momentum to leap up and strike the dragon. Hence, using the dragon's own power against itself. So, to fight Kaido, you need to use off observation hockey at just the right point to dodge and then immediately counterattack at the right time. It might not be exactly this case each time, but I think you need to wait for the right opening rather than try to be reckless with Kaido just the way Luffy was and pretty much everybody else. Because we know Ta Kaido has been defeated, just never in one-on-one -on -one combat. Because it's kind of hard, hard to counterattack someone when they 
if you don't know how to counterattack them. It's just easier to overwhelm them by sheer numbers in the right way. Or basically what I'm saying is Kaido has his weaknesses. We just never seen them because well, he's just that powerful and it's easier to miss. And I'm betting the people who took him on in sheer numbers was someone at Karakuri's level. Or as I would mention in the comments, if you ever mention this, Darktooth, his alias. Anyway, yeah, that's basically it. To defeat Kaido, you need to turn his own power against him. Not rely on just your own power. You have to combine your power to his power and strike at the right time. I know this part <clears throat> probably didn't make sense because of my speaking pattern. But, like I said earlier, basically how to defeat Kaido is wait for the opportune time and strike him when his power when he strikes. Anyway, that's it for this part two. Different from part one, but you kind of get the gist of it. Anyway, catch you guys and gals later, and have a good night.